Hi folks, um, today we're going to take a look at Hockey Blast, sort of a how-to video. Um, actually, I really just wanted to show off this new bling that I got from Travis Jansen. Uh, you can stack your lines and easy to rotate. Usually I played all the lines on one and on my mat and I rotate them with these things. But uh, I got to see the tracks in action at play.com convention so we'll end up getting them and we're going to give them a run through they look pretty cool so what we have today is 1986 new york rangers taking on the 1986 washington capitals so we're just going to get the game underway we're going to roll not sure if you can see the dice or not and i rolled a four and four on the face-off chart says go to the high face-off player. So you check the face-off ratings of the two highest players on each team. Mike Ridley is a 50, Marcel Dion is a 52, so the puck goes over to Marcel Dion. Uh, next roll is a four. Four is odd man rush, and we're gonna take a look at the, when I roll, I always roll three dice at once, and the, Decider die is a five, which is D5. So we check to see if the D5 has a block. And we go over to this side, we see that he does not have a block. So it's gonna be a shot for the New York Rangers. And I rolled an eight, which is gonna be a two, one, three. So two, one, three for the Rangers. And we take a look at the number of stars. Dion has one, Padumny has one for an assist. Sandstrom has one for an assist, so it's a three-star shot. And when I roll, I roll the 2-1. So it's in range. We take a look at the goalie, and Peters will make the save. And we go to three on the goalie save chart. Deflected to the corner, two blocks on defense will control the puck. If we take a look at Washington, they only have one. So it's going to be a rebound shot to 0-4. So 04 is going to get the shot. And the way I do it, I rotate them. So this goes here, this goes here, and four is the new shooter. And so Patrick is going to get a shot. It's a one-star shot. He gets a one-star for the rebound. And I roll a three and a six, which is a nine. Gooley absorbs the shot with his body, drops into the corner for a new line. So puck goes to the other side. And we got to rotate the lines. And with Travis's stuff, he just simply... Take them, move it to the bottom, and just continue. So first time I've used them, so it's gonna be a little bit awkward, but we'll see how it works out. Uh, I quite like them. So Washington has the puck, and I roll, and I roll a seven. So seven is going to be a lull. And the way I keep track on my sheet is New York had the first shot, the rebound is the second shot, and then a lull. And you mark it off as you go, and that's how your time expires during the period. Uh, so we have a lull, we have a face-off, and face-off is a nine. So it's going to go to home wins the face-off, and they get an immediate play. So Washington is going to get a shot on net, and we're going to roll to see who gets the shot. It's a four, which is a one, three, four. So one, three, four. And for the shot, we have a one and a nothing and a nothing. So it's a one star shot. And maybe I'll just roll on here. And I do get a chance to score. I checked my one on Van Beesbrook and he makes the save. So what I do whenever they have a chance to score, I put a dot on it as a scoring chance. So Washington shot, scoring chance, I put a little dot so I know. And rebound number two, if Rangers have three blocks, which they don't, so the rebound goes to 05. So 05 is going to get a rebound shot. So this is the last guy that had the play. So this goes here, this goes here, this goes here. Langway has scissors, so it's not going to be a chance to score. And I roll the five. Goalie stacks the pads, puck deflected out to the circle. 02 gets a rebound, he shoots. So we're gonna get another rebound shot for 02. So again, I rotate yellow to white, white to black, black to number two. So he's gonna get the shot 02. It's his second rebound shot. So he's gonna have two stars for Greg Adams. 
It's a one star shot and I roll the five. So I check the five on the goalie. Van Breesbrook only has two stars. It's going to be a goal. So the Washington Capitals put it in. Greg Adams puts it in. A rebound goal from Murphy and Rod Langway. And the time of the goal is scored at four minutes. And the way I work it is I just take a look at the two dice, black and white. So I would go 445. So to mark it down on my sheet, it would look something like this. Washington had a shot, we had a rebound, and the shot was a scoring chance, we checked on the goalie. The third shot, we checked on the goalie, I put a little circle star, and it was a goal. I circle when the goal was scored, for a minute mark, and then just on the back of my sheet, Washington rebound goal, Greg Adams with an S, uh, from Larry Murphy and Langway at 445. So the Washington Capitals take a one nothing lead, and they will gain momentum because they did get that one nothing lead. And I changed the lines. And we're going to start for face off. The nice thing with these is that when you're comparing, you're only looking at one line. The other one, you have everybody out on the ice. So the Capitals have possession. And we roll a seven, which is a lull. So again, on my sheet, I just mark it down. I put down three L's real quick. And they lose momentum um, because of the lull. Lines stay out. I roll again for a face-off, and I rolled another seven. So we have another lull. Three more minutes get marked off. I roll again. I roll a two and a three, which is a five. Visitor wins a face-off. Immediate play. So New York is going to get their third shot of the period. And we'll see who's going to get the shot. I roll a seven, which is secondary play. I roll it again. I roll a 10. 10 is going to be 5, 4, 3. So 5, 4, and a 3. So Carpenter is going to get the shot. There's nothing here, nothing there, nothing there. So no chance for a goal. So what they're looking for is a rebound. So shot by the Rangers. We roll an 8, which is going to be a save. Puck goes over to the other side. So the Rangers get a shot on goal. Nothing happens. And we change the lines. Stick save made. Goalie drops the puck behind the net for a new line. So we're going to change up the lines. So now if I want, I can do a line skip. We're kind of halfway through. I think I will. So on my score sheet, what I do, you can get this at gitchplaywith2as.com. You can see at the very bottom, uh, I got line skip. You get two per period and a double shift. I just check it off. And with the line skip, I'm going to skip the forward lines for each team. And the defense is going to stay the same. So I'm only going to skip the one. I think you're allowed to do that. And Washington has a puck with their top line out. Another cool thing about Travis's um, trays is that you have the first line you see with one. Second line has two. Third line has three. So you know what line is out there. Uh, Washington has the puck and a roll the 12. And a 12 is a spectac spectacular save chance. So Washington is going to get a spectacular save chance. Uh, we're going to give the puck to Mike Gartner. So we're going to go to the spectac spectacular save chart. Van Beesbrook is a three. And I roll the two. And a two on the spectacular save chart. Goalie twists around, reaches, got it. Amazing save. So Van Beesbrook makes an amazing save. And New York Rangers are going to get momentum on that particular shot. And we'll change the line. Actually, you know what? I'm near the end of the period. I'm just going to double shift these guys and leave them out there. So a chance for Mike Gartner when he didn't score. Uh, from the faceoff, I roll the nine. A nine on the faceoff chart is home wins faceoff immediate play. So Washington is going to get an immediate play. Uh, number fifth shot of the period for them. And a roll to six, which is going to be a 3-2-1. So 3-2-1 would look like this. And we have three, nothing, and one. 
this would only be a star if they had momentum. And as you can see right now, the Rangers have momentum. So it's going to be a four-star shot from Mike Gartner. Take a look. Read the black die. It is a four. We check the white die on the goalie. Looking for five. Van Beesbrook is only... He's actually going to be a three because they have momentum. So it's going to be a goal. So at the 13-minute mark, Washington puts it in. Their fifth shot. They're going to score. So second goal, 13.45. It's going to be Mike Gartner putting it in from Alan Haworth and Mike Ridley. And so Washington scores, so they will gain momentum. And we've got to change the lines. 2 nothing Washington Capitals over the New York Rangers, 1986-87. And, yeah, I kind of like these trays. They're pretty cool. I'll put the address for Travis's store if you want to order them. They're pretty neat. Uh, Face-off, right off the bat, I roll a four. Uh, Face-off, high face-off player wins it. So we have a 52 with Christian and a 52 with Kizio. The tiebreaker is momentum and then home team. So Washington has momentum, so they pick up the puck. We're just going to roll again, and we roll a three. A three is team with the most triangles generates a scoring chance. Rangers have one, two, three, four. Washington has one, two, three, four. It's tied. So, again, momentum is the first breaker, tiebreaker, then home team. So, it's going to be a Washington shot. So, this is going to be the sixth shot for the Washington Capitals. We're at the 14-minute mark. Uh Shot coming up for the Caps. It's going to be a four, which is a one, three, four. So go one, three, four. And they have momentum, so it's going to be one, two, three star shot. Come to Capitals trying to score. It's a six. We rolled an 11, and 11 is going to be a breakaway for the New York Rangers. So New York is going to come back with a breakaway. So what I do on my sheet for breakaways, I just put a slash, New York. This is going to be their fourth shot of the period, and it's a breakaway. So breakaway, you would include the white stars. Um, <clears throat> so breakaway for the Rangers, it's going to roll. It's going to be an eight. It's going to be a two, one, three. So two, one, three for the Rangers. It's going to be two, three, four star shot for New York. Here they go. It's a four, but a one is going to be a save by Pete Peters. He has it. Rebound is going to come out to 02. So rebound coming out to 02. So I'm just going to go here to here to here. And it's going to be a two-star shot for Dan Maloney. Dan Maloney shoots, and it's a six. So the puck is going to be saved. Goes over to the other side. They don't score on the rebound, and we got to change the lines. Oops. And change the line. So Washington picks up the puck. Um, here they come. They bring it out. It's going to be a 10. A 10 is if the other team has a block. It's a turnover. Take a look at the Rangers. Nobody has a block, so it's not a turnover. Uh, we roll again, it's a seven, so it's going to be a lull. So again, for a lull, I mark off three pages off my sheet, and Washington loses momentum. Next face-off is going to be an eight, which means it's going to the home team. So Washington picks up the puck. They bring it out, and we roll a ten. Ten is if they have a block. It's a turnover. There was no blocks. So Washington keeps control. No time advance. We roll again. We have an eight. And number four is the hit quality. So it's going to be a team result looking for the hit quality. Rangers have one, two. They got two tough defensemen. And I'd like to put the hit guys on my fourth line if I can to try and change momentum in a game. Uh, so one, two, and that's all for them. Washington only has one. So they're not going to get a scoring chance. It's going to be a Washington turnover. So I mark that as a turnover. 
puck goes over the other side and because it's hits are involved the rangers gain momentum and we're going to change the lines and again we got our um fourth lines coming out so i think what i'm going to do is use my next line skip so again i'll just check it off i just realized to put the fourth line on the second line block so we're going to do a line skip for the forwards the demon we're going to leave as is this is the last play of the period for the new york rangers and it's a low and I probably should have taken this away during the lull for the Rangers. I just got that now. So at the end of the first period, the scores in New York Rangers are trailing the Washington Capitals 2 nothing. We had 3, 6, 9, 12, 13 lulls. So when you have 13 lulls, the way I do it at the end of the period, I just mark down 13. And each of them is a shot. So I divide it 6 for the... Rangers, seven for Washington. So if I take a look at my sheet going up, Washington had seven plus six. So they'll get 13 shots on that, which I'll put right here. And for the Rangers, they had five plus the six. They had 11 shots on that. And then I count up the circle dots, which are the scoring chances. So Washington had two, three, Rangers had one, so for scoring chances that period, um, I put them in my box score. The Rangers had one, Washington had three. And I just realized I didn't write down the goalies. And Beesbrook for the Rangers and Pete Peters for the Washington Capitals. So we're going to get ready to start the second period. Um, and here we go. All right, second period is underway. Everything can see everything on the screen. And from the face-off, we roll a 10. So a 10 is high face-off player wins it. So it's going to go over to Marcel Dion. He's a 52. Ridley's just a 50. Rangers get control of the puck and a roll of 5, which is going to be a penalty. So for penalties... Oh, I didn't bring my penalty chart with me. Um, for the penalties... First of all, you have to see who's going to get it. Number eight is offensive player number one. So the penalty initially is being called on Sandstrom. So you're going to compare him against number five on the penalty ratings. It always is going to add up to six. So if it was three, it'd be three, three. If it was a two, it'd be a two, four. This is a one. So it's going to be a one, five. Sandstrom is a one. Hatcher is a two. So because Hatcher is higher, Hatcher is going to get the penalty. So I'm just going to pop him out and stick him in the penalty box. So Hatcher is getting the penalty. Then I'm going to see what the penalty is. And number seven on the penalty chart is, you can read that, penalty is zero, no penalty, otherwise a minor penalty. So there's going to be a minor penalty to Kevin Hatcher. So two minutes to Washington. And the way I mark it down on my paper is I put down Hatcher getting two minutes, a couple of access, and it's a power play and a power play opportunity for the New York Rangers. Um, and for this, for the Rangers at least, I'm going to double shift, leave all the top guys out there. And for Washington, yeah, I think I'm going to double shift too. Stevens has got the... PK dot. So we're going to leave them out there and we're going to use Rod Langway as the guy that's going to come out. So if it comes to five, we're going to refer to Langway. So we have two dots out there. Um, all right. So we're going to go to the power play chart for the face off. And they have momentum because they're on the power play. And from the face off number 12, it is going to be high. Wins face-off, unusual result. So the high would be Dion at 52. Now we have an unusual result. We have to roll and see what it is. A seven is going to be an unusual penalty. So we're gonna to go to the unusual penalty chart and we will roll and we roll a two, three. 
And we read that as a 23. I'll always read black first, then white. So 23 says, penalty on high, penalty on offense, a minor for elbowing. So the penalty is going to be on the Rangers. We have a 1, a 0, a 1, 1, 1. Um, I would go to the decider die. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4. So it's going to be 1 to 4. And roll this. And roll the 6. And I roll the 4. So the penalty is going to be on Sandstrom. So Sandstrom is going to the penalty box for the New York Rangers. And again... I would mark it like this. So Sandstrom's going in the penalty box. Both put down two X's for the penalty. So we're going to be playing four on four uh, for the next shift. I'm just going to rotate the lines. And second line is going to come out for both teams. And I'm just going to put Maloney off and Greg Adams off. So that's how I mark it with four on four. Now, they're going to lose momentum because they're not on the power play anymore. So we have Hatcher and Sandstrom in the penalty box. So we go back to the normal minutes because it's four on four. This is how I play it. I know I saw Steve Tower when he does it. He checks off two minutes. I'm not sure how he'd handle it with the penalties, but we're just at four on four. Uh, number six, visitor wins a faceoff. So puck goes over the Rangers and a roll the five, and we've got another penalty. So we're running into penalty problems here. First roll is a five on the penalty chart, and that is going to go to D4. So D4 is getting the penalty. He's 05 against the two. There's nobody out there for the Rangers. So that is going to be a penalty to Larry Murphy. And let's see how many minutes he's going to get. A roll in 11. Penalty greater than a 2. He's not. So it's going to be a minor penalty. So Larry Murphy is going to the penalty box. And he is getting 2 minutes. we got to change the lines. Um, now Rangers have to change their lines also. And we now have Larry Murphy in the box. Two minutes for Washington. So we are again. Scorsese gets a little bit messy. Hatcher's penalties are now over. So again, we're four on four uh, with these guys. So Hatcher comes back out. Top line, put him there. And we're going to four on four. So DeShane and George McPhee are going to be going off. Uh, face off number three, high face off wins it. So 50 and 51. Pavonka picks up the puck. And we roll an eight. And we're looking for uh, five, which is smart. So we're going to add up all the smart for both teams. Nothing, nothing. We have one, two here. One, two, three. Washington has control. So we're going to get a shot on Nat. Shot on that, we rolled an eight, which is going to be a two, one, three. So two, one, three. Now, in the play game's rules, uh, since he's off, he's not included. So the shot would be a one star and nothing. But I always think four on four, there's going to be more offense out there. So the way I play it is you're allowed to pick somebody else and put them out there. Um, I'm just going to go by the play game rules for this one. So the shot for Pavonka is a one. And when I roll, I roll a seven. So it's going to be save, face off, change the lines. So a shot by Washington. They don't get anything on. We got to change the lines. And coming out of the penalty box is going to be Sandstrom. And the Rangers are going to be on the power play. So I'm going to do a line skip for the Rangers to get their top line out with their top D. Um, I think I'm going to do a line skip for Washington, too. They got a 47 on the faceoff. 
I think I will, just in case they want to preface the stars and the arrows. So we'll do a line skip for Washington too. So we're going back. We're now on the face off and the Rangers are on the power play. Larry Murphy still in the penalty box. Uh, from the faceoff number four, short end team wins the faceoff, and they do have, uh, Haworth would have been the guy off. Uh, they do have um, a dot, and it says if you have a dot, it's a lull. So the way I play it, you can see on our score sheet, we had one X left, Murphy's penalty, and it's going to be a lull. So the Washington kills the penalty. That is over. Out of the box comes Larry Murphy, and we're just going to continue from this point. So five, six minutes in, and nothing's going on. Number five off the faceoff is going to be a scoring chance for the visitors. So the New York Rangers are going to get their first shot of the period, and a roll to 10, which is a 4-1-2. So go 4-1-2. Chance for the Rangers. Padubny is a 2 Sandstrom is a one, Patrick is a one, so it's going to be a four-star shot. Rangers shoot, it's a four. Check the goalie five on Peters, it's a goal. Walt Padubny puts it in for the New York Rangers, six minutes in. So New York with their first goal, 645. Walt Padubny scores, going top shelf on Pete Peters from Sandstrom. And James Patrick, and we got a 2-1 hockey game. Again, the way I put it on my sheet is I'll put a little dot. because It was a scoring chance. And on the back, I'll write down Padubny. And again, I just use the dice, the black and white. I, sometimes I'll add this to that one, so it can be 49 or 45. Sometimes I'll alternate uh, when, you're, when you're doing it. So a big goal there by the New York Rangers. we got to change the lines. And the Rangers have made it a 2-1 hockey game here. 1986-87 Rangers-Caps. Bit of a rivalry in this series too as uh, the New York Rangers traded Mike Ridley and Kelly Miller to uh, the Washington Capitals during the season. So um, get to see some of the people exchange in the deal playing against each other. Uh, from the faceoff, and we rolled an eight, so it's going to go to the home team. Washington picks it up. Uh, next roll is an eight, and we're looking for three, which is power. So eight, you're going to be an ice blast. It's everybody on the ice looking for power. We have none. Oh, we have one here for the Rangers, and we have two for Washington. So since Washington has the puck, and they win that, it's going to be a shot on net. And it's a nine, which is a 4-2 choice. So 4-2 and choice. We're going to give it to Dave Christian. So one, two, three, four-star shot for Washington. Dave Christian steps in. He's got it. We go to the one on the goalie. And Van Beesbrick makes the save, but the rebound's going to go to 0-2. So Greg Adams is going to get the rebound. He'll be a one-star shot. And an eight is going to be a save. Puck goes over the other side. we got to change the lines. So the Capitals have a couple shots on net, but they cannot beat John Van Beesbrook. Uh, puck goes to the other side. What? New York's got it. We roll a six. And for six, it's a zoom. We're looking for skill. So we're going to look for black one and a white five for skill. So black one has skill, white five does not have skill. So New York is going to lose the puck. So on my score sheet, I mark it down as a turnover. I just go New York, turns it over. And we're now in the ninth minute and we got to change the lines. Again, with Travis's little trays, these are quick, fast, easy, and easy for comparing people. I quite like them. They're very, very cool. Uh, strongly suggest having them. We got the fourth line out there. We're just going to leave them out there. We've already used up one skip and we roll a seven, which is going to be a lull. So New York will lose their momentum and we're going to go to the face off. From the face off, we roll a seven, which is another lull. So again, on the score sheet, all I do is mark down a lull and a lull. 
And we're moving along here in the second period from the faceoff. It is a two. So a two goes to the high faceoff player. We have, oh, I got these mixed up. David Jansen should be the center. Center always goes in the three spot. So we have a 47 against a 48. So the Rangers will win the draw. And we roll an 11 for looking for two blocks on Washington, which they do not have. So it's going to be a shot for the New York Rangers, their second shot of the period. And it rolled an 11, which is a 135. So 135. Greshners get a shot. Now we have scissors, so it's going to cut it in half. There's stars. There is no stars, so not a chance to score. And we roll the 10. <clears throat> which is a save, puck goes over to the other side. Change up the lines. And we've got the top line out for Washington and the top line out for the New York Rangers, the newly acquired Marcel Dion, getting him from the Kings. And we're gonna roll an eight and we're gonna be an ice blast looking for smart. So ice blast, you do the total of all your teams. So we have one, two, three, four, Four smart players here. One, two, three, four, five for Washington. So it's going to be a shot on goal for Washington because they had the puck. And we rolled an 11, which is going to be a one, three, five. So one, a three, and a five. So for the shot, we got scissors, one star, two stars. So it's going to be a one star shot for Rod Langway, and he does get the one-star shot. We check the four, Van Biesenbrek doesn't. Rod Langway puts one through the 16-minute mark. 16-14, Washington's third goal, a shot from the point. All-star defensive D-man, Rod Langway puts it up from former Ranger Mike Ridley. And Mike Gartner gets the other assist. The Capitals take a 3-1 lead. And they will gain momentum. Change the lines here. 3-1 Washington Capitals. And going to go to a face-off. From the face-off, it's a 7, which is a lull. And that will end the period. So we have 3, 6, 9, 11 lulls. So because we have 11 lulls, you alternate it. So it's going to be six, six shots to five. And the reason I'm giving six to the Rangers this time is because Washington uh, got more in the first period. So this will even out in the second period. Uh, the goals were one each. So I'm just going to put one and one here. Shots on net, you can see Washington four plus the five would give them a nine. And for the Rangers, they had two shots plus the six would give them eight. And for scoring chances, one for New York, one for Washington. They had one each. Actually, you know what? I think I forgot to put the dot for this one because Langway scored, so he would have had the scoring chance. So 2-1. So after two periods, the shots, 22-19 for the Washington Capitals. They lead 3-1. Scoring chances are 5-2 for the Washington Capitals. So to go to the third and final period, the number one lines back out there. Quite like the trays. These trays are very cool. Um, so here we go. Third period, New York Rangers, Washington Capitals from the face off. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> and we roll a nine. So it's going to be Home wins a face-off immediate play. So Washington is going to get a chance to score on this one. And we rolled an eight, which is going to be a two, one, three. So two, one, three. Mike Ridley, two stars and one. A three-star shot for Mike Ridley. And ten. It's going to be a save. Puck goes over to the other side. New York Rangers pick up the puck and they bring it out. So Washington does not score on that chance. And here comes the New York Rangers. Uh, roll the nine, which is momentum. So what you do for momentum is you check and see who has the most amount of hits out on the ice. Rangers have zero. Pretty soft lineup out there. 
And for Washington, Greg Adams has a hit. John Blum has a hit. So Rangers get the puck and they gain momentum. Um, there's no uh, time in advance. You just check. Uh, Washington now has the puck and it's a three. We're looking for the most triangles is going to generate a shot. One, two, three, four for the New York Rangers. One, two. So it's going to be a New York Rangers shot coming up. We have more triangles, and it's a seven. We're going to the secondary chart. Six is going to be a five, three, four. So five, three, four. Huber, nothing here. We have one here. Nothing here. So one star shot for Willie Huber. That's a goal from the point. Oh, he does have it. It's a six. It's going to be a spectacular save chance. Pete Peters is a two. And we roll the seven. Seven on the spectacular save chart is two or better. Makes an incredible save. Pete Peters will make that spectacular save off of Willie Huber. And we'll change the lines. And Washington will retain their momentum. The goalie does make his spectacular save to get momentum. And save and a face-off. <clears throat> uh, we roll a six. So puck goes over to the visitors off a six. We roll a dice. We roll a five. We've got a possible penalty coming up. And for the penalty, we roll the ten. So a ten on the penalty chart is <clears throat> offensive player number three. So offensive player number three, possibly going to Bobby Carpenter. He's a three. He's a one. You check there, three is a 0.5. So it will be a penalty to Carpenter. And we'll check how many. It's a nine. Player has a fight rating. Minor penalty, drops his gloves looking for a fight. He does have a fight rating. Carpenter is a one, so he's looking for a scrap. So we're going to take a look. We got a one, one, one. We got a six. So Scott Stevens is going to drop the gloves. What you would do, say if it was Kevin Hatcher, you check his four. And if I roll a one to four, it would be a fight with Hatcher. So it would have been a fight. Uh, since Stevens is the highest, that's who I always go to. That's just simply how I play it. So the penalty is going to be Bobby Carpenter is picking up two and a five. And so I'll just take him off. Scott Stevens, Washington's best D-man, is also going to the penalty box. Now someone's going to have to serve Carpenter's penalty. So we'll take George McPhee with him. Has to be somebody on the ice. So Carpenter gets two and a five. And Scott Stevens picks up a five-minute major. And the way I'm working on my sheet, if anybody's interested, um, I'll mark down two for the penalty, then three, four, five for Stevens. I'll put an F beside it for a fight. And two more when Carpenter comes out. Now, if they do score a power play goal, that will be reduced. So if they score here, one, two, three, four, five, he'd come out at this point and I'd erase that. So Washington is going on the power play. And I think what I'm going to do for Washington, I'm going to do a line skip. And for the Rangers, this would be the normal line that comes out. we got a weak face-off guy, so I'm going to do a line skip for the Rangers also. So the Dubney's probably not going to be the guy. I usually pick the guy in the middle. Actually, you know what? I'm going to pick Sandstrom this time because if he gets thrown out, he has a face-off rating and Sandstrom does not. The cards are usually the same. So... Washington is going on the power play. Um, <clears throat> and I'll just mark off that line skip for each team. And we'll get to the power play. Find on my sheet. I moved my book, so I lost it a little bit here. All right, on the power play, from the face-off number five. Shorthanded team wins a face-off. It's going over to the New York Rangers. 
And we roll an 11, battle for possession. We're looking for stars and dots. Whoever has the most uh, redeems the puck and no, uh, no time change. So we have stars, we have one, two, sorry, we're looking for dots on this side. We have one dot and stars, we have one dot, but tiebreaker is the team with momentum. So Washington does get control of the puck. Uh, they bring it out. Number seven. Seven is a power play shot. So Washington's going to get their second shot of the period. And the shot is going to be a 10, which is going to be a 4 1 2. So 4 1 2. And they have momentum. So it's going to be 3, 4, 5, 6 shot. This is automatically going to be a scoring chance for the Washington Capitals. Here comes Alan Haworth, steps right in. Shoots it. It's a three. We're looking for a three save. And Beeswick, he does not have it. So it is a big goal for the Washington Capitals on the power play. So we will take that one minute off for Carpenter. And Washington picks up the goal. Fourth goal. Power play goal at 3.33. Alan Haworth puts it in. Capitals now have a comfortable lead from Larry Murphy and Mike Gartner. Gartner's second point of the period. And that will go off. We'll rotate the lines. And coming out is George McPhee. Out of the penalty box, rotate the lines for the Washington Capitals. And now have a very comfortable lead with Scott Stevens and Carpenter serving their majors. <clears throat> Here we go from the faceoff number nine. Home gets it. They get an attack. Washington's going to get another shot on net, this time with momentum. And we roll a seven, secondary shot. A nine is a five, one, four. So five, one, four. Nothing here. We have one here because they have momentum. And scissors. So it goes back to zero. There's the shot is a 10. So it's a save. Puck goes over to the other side, so they do not score, and we got to change the lines. So rotate the lines. And for Washington, we're going to have Murphy come out into this open spot. Rangers bring it out as a seven, so it's going to be a lull, and that will kill Scott Stevens' penalty. He will come out of the penalty box. Um... Bobby Carpenter still has one, and they'll lose momentum. Uh, from the faceoff number seven, we have another lull. So I'll mark off three more. Bobby Carpenter comes out of the penalty box. And another faceoff, we have a four. High faceoff player wins the faceoff. We have a 51 and a 50, so Pavanka wins the faceoff. Here come the Capitals, and we rolled another seven. So it's going to be another lull. We've got three lulls in a row again, just to mark them on the sheet. We're now 13 minutes in, 4-1, Washington Capitals. Looks like they've got this one sold up. We roll the four. High faceoff wins it, so puck is going over to Michael Pavanka. Highly skilled offensive forward. We roll a nine, and it's momentum. So who's got the most hits? Melnick, Karkner, two tough guys. We've got two here. And two for Washington, Hatcher and Stevens, two big 6'4". Hatcher's a 6'4", at least thinks Stevens is 6'2". Um, and they pick it up, and <coughs> they got momentum, and they have the puck. They now have momentum, and we roll an eight. We're looking for speed, and speed we have one, two, three, for ice blast and speed on this side, one, two, three. So it's going to be a shot on net for the Capitals. They're four shot on net. And we roll the five. So it's going to be a three, one choice. Three, one. We're going to give the puck to DeShane. We have one, two, three stars looking for the goal. There's the shot. It's a four and a three is a seven. So it's save face off. Change the lines. Change the lines for each spot. You probably should have. Uh, um, getting late in the game, we are going to do a line skip. New York Rangers want their top guys out there late in the hockey game. 
Uh, we got our top demon out there, so we're going to have a face-off. Number nine, puck is going to the home team. Immediate play for Washington. They're going to get a shot on that. Number 11 is going to be a 1-3-5. So 1-3-5. 1-2. And scissors for Langway. So they cut it in half to one. He's already scored once. And this time he's not going to do it. Four. Off the post, scramble in front. Do they have a box to get it? And Patrick does have a box, so they will pick it up. And there's just four minutes left in the game. We're going to double shift these guys, see if the Rangers can get a goal um, with these players. If they get a lull on this turn, then we're, we're, they won't get on the ice again. So we're going to keep them out. And we roll the four. Odd man rush, and it's a four on the other dies, we're looking at D4. If he has a block, he will stop the rush. We take a look. He does not have a block, so it's going to be a shot on goal for the New York Rangers with their top line, just their second shot. And it's going to be a 10. It's going to be a 4-1-2. So 4-1-2. Padabni is a 2-3, four-star shot for the New York Rangers. And it's in range, but it's going to be saved by Pete Peters. But we're going to have a rebound. Three blocks, and they would get the rebound. They don't, so it's going to 05 for the rebound shot. So, again, I'll just rotate these. This goes here. This goes here. 05, Greshner not going to have a chance to score. He has scissors. We roll a four. Ping off the post. Washington has a block. They control the puck, and Langway does. So the Capitals scoop up the rebound, change the lines. 4-1 for the Washington Capitals. They get control of the puck, and here we go. Caps have it, and we roll a 6, a zoom. We're looking for the star result, and we're looking at player 3-3 three and three on a zoom. So three and three, and we're looking for star. Don't have it, don't have it. So it's going to be a Washington turnover. Again, on my sheet, the way I mark it, just a Washington turnover. And we got to change the lines since we've already used up all our line skips and our um, double shifts. Puck goes over to the New York Rangers, McKegney, Carpenter, and McPhee. Um, I believe Bobby Carpenter was the one that was traded uh, to the New York Rangers for Ridley and Kelly Miller. Uh, we roll a six. Six is going to be a zoom. Again, we're looking at the star quality. So two and four. Kartner's not a star. Deshane's not a star. So we'll be a New York turnover. One minute left to go in the hockey game. The Capitals have control of the puck. Love these trays. Pretty slick. Last play of the period is an eight, which is an ice blast. And we're looking for three, which is power. So we're going to add them all up. We got one, two on the Rangers. One, two, three on Washington. So Washington will get a shot on net. It'll be their sixth shot on net of the period. We will roll and we roll a 12, which is two, three, four. Two, three, and a four. Larry Murphy is a one and scissors, so it's a no star shot. And a six is going to be kicked out. Puck is loose. O one is going to get the rebound. So O one is going to get the rebound. We're going to go here, 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 and here. Kelly Miller trying to score on his former teammates. Need a one star, one black. Doesn't get it. Number five rebounds coming out to O two. Big save, so this goes here, this goes here, this goes here. Ed Castle at getting the rebound. Now it's a second rebound shot, so because he has scissors, that would be looking for one star on here. He gets a six, and 11 is going to be a breakaway going the other way for the New York Rangers. Their fourth shot of the period is going to be a breakaway. So puck goes over here. And for the breakaway, it's a four, which is a one, three, four. One, three, four. Breakaway for James Patrick. Nothing here, nothing here, nothing here. So no star shot for the Rangers. It's a seven save. That is the end of the hockey game, folks. 
the final score from Washington. The Washington Capitals four and the New York Rangers one. So our lulls, three, six, nine. So again, this time would be five, four for Washington. Washington had eight shots plus the five gives them 13 for the period. New York Rangers had four plus the four here gives them eight for the period. Scoring chances, Rangers one, Washington one, Rangers two. So the Rangers had two, Washington one. For the game, they had six. They had four shots on goal. 16 and 11 is 27. This one, 22 and 13 would be 35. Uh, total chances in the power play. So I go 9 plus 11 is 20. 33, and you divide it by 5. So 33 divided by 5 would be 6, possibly 7, probably closer to 7. So I'm going to div, div out 7 power play opportunities. So I'm going to go 4 to Washington. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 3 to the Rangers. So the Rangers finish 0 for 4 in the power play. The Capitals are 1 for 6. Uh, a recap, we had Greg Adams scoring from... Larry Murphy and Rod Langway. Then Mike Gartner from Haworth and Ridley. Rangers come back. Walt Padumny from Samson and Patrick. Rod Langway puts it away. Defensive D-man scores from Ridley and Gartner. And on the power play, Alan Haworth from Murphy and Mike Gartner. Gartner finishes with a goal and two assists for Caps. He will be our first star of the hockey game. And that's it. So... That's how you use the trays. That's how you play Hockey Blast. I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked the video, give it a like. And uh, we'll see you guys next time. Bye for now.